I'm standing at the USS Albacore in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. This submarine, this experimental submarine, with its guppy-like shape, was part of the post-war revolution that enabled United States submarines to become the technological leaders in the world. The streamlined shape, coupled with nuclear power plant, enabled American submarines to attain speeds in excess of 40 knots submerged. Also, it enabled the transition from the idea of a submersible, which is a, a ship that can run underwater for a small amount of time using batteries and powered by a diesel engine on the surface, the transition from a submersible to a true submarine where, this, where the ship could remain submerged for hours and days at a time under nuclear power. Submarines of this era were known for their many protuberances. The 569, however, as you can see, is a smooth, continuous shape with the contra-rotating propellers and the cruciform dive and stability planes at the rear. On production models of successor submarines to the Albacore, the dual contra-rotating propeller was replaced by a single propeller. Whether in aircraft or naval applications, a dual contra-rotating contra propeller was always trouble-prone and over-complex. In terms of the four tail control surfaces and the production models, these were rotated 45 degrees so that we had an up and down and horizontal pair of control planes. From the time of World War II until just a few years ago, all naval attack submarines belonging to the United States Navy were named after fish. Albacore, Scape, Sculpin, etc. Now, of course, they're usually named for American cities. Scranton, Los Angeles, Toledo, and so forth. Of course, one of the primary roles of a nuclear attack submarine is to sink enemy shipping. In World War II, American submarines devastated the Japanese shipping in the Pacific and led to the conditions in which Japan was able to surrender without having to undergo invasion. For this, personally, I am very grateful as my father would have been one of those invading marines. But fortunately, this never had to happen.